points per possession is all the rage amongst coaches and stat junkies alike. It's really important in understanding how an offense and defense is truly performing. This stat is essentially used to calculate how well you score factoring in efficiency and pace. The formula is total points scored divided by all your possessions in the game. So for example, let's say team A is a really fast paced team. They like to push the tempo, get out on the break and really run. Team B, more of a grind it out team. They like to take their time, run their offensive sets, get some motion to create mismatches. Both teams scored 70 points in their last game. So team A scores 70 points, but they might have upwards of 100 possessions, whereas team B scores 70 points and their slower pace gets only 60 possessions. The difference here is 70 points per 100 possessions is 0.7 points per possession, whereas 70 points per 60 possessions is 1.17 points per possession. So what happens when team A and team B play each other? Because due to the nature of the game of basketball, the two teams are gonna end up with near the same amount of possessions, right? Team A, then team B, back and forth all the way through the game. So in the course of a game, let's split the difference and say they each had 80 possessions. 0.7 points per possession times 80 possessions ends up with 56 points scored in a game. Whereas team B scores 1.17 times 80, that comes out to 94 points in a game. That's nearly a 40 point win for team B. It's not even close. You can apply points per possession to defense as well and see if you're putting the clamps on opponents, making them take tough shots or just forcing them out of their normal style of play. So let's jump back to the formula we used. We used a simple version, points divided by possessions. And for all intents and purposes, it gave us the information we needed and created a pretty clear picture of what points per possession actually does. However, points per possession purists have added a few more steps to calculate this illuminating figure. Check out the Huddle blog series, DNA of a Stat, for this and all the other stats coaches are using to compete at the highest level.